is the most challenging part of becoming a business owner? Um, overcoming that fear to to make it happen. To Absolutely. Go for it, to put every dollar on the line, to saying to yourself, you know, worst case years down the road, uh, I can't regret not trying. What's your most favorite part of being a business owner? Um, being your own boss, having control of everything. When you're in a corporate environment there tends to be a lot of uh, micromanagement and I feel that they uh, get distracted from the big picture which is the customer. When you come in we talk to you, we get to know you, we know you by name, we know what you like when you come in. Kind of swish it around so the heat in your hand is actually warming up the olive oil. This way when you taste it you're going to taste all the flavors. So you snip it you should be able to smell the aroma. Yeah. And then you sip it kind of like a wine, let it stay in your mouth for a couple seconds. Mm -hmm. And swallow and breathe in. So you're gonna get a little peppery finish in this, not a lot, yeah. because it's more buttery flavor. We have the bread to dip, but that's kind of an American thing. You should be tasting your olive oil like this. Yeah. Because otherwise you're tasting the bread with it and you're not really getting the flavor of the oil. Do you have any advice for future business owners? Research your business, um, what it's going to cost you to operate, where you're going to go, foot traffic. A store like this, you need a lot of foot traffic, so if you're opening a small specialty shop, you need to be in a town where there is a lot of foot traffic and events going on so that you're seen and people know you're there. Mm -hmm.